Yo, it's uh, another book adapt, uh, book to movie adaptation um, with uh, Josiah. Isn't and it Rob. really adaptation? Hey, this is another book to movie adaptation. Because you've been saying adaptation for adaption, a while. So I don't know where I heard adaptation, but it, it must be one of those words. Adaptation, adaptation. I'm gonna look it up when I get home. Tomato, tomato, another word. Caribbean, Caribbean. 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 I don't know. Um, yeah, so, uh, Rob and I first started doing book-to-movie adaptations with Watchmen. Uh, the next one, um, featured me doing Aragon. This one, Rob's behind the mic, so technically he really is in it. Um, it's just more fun when we both have expertise, but it's okay. Um, this time I'm doing I Am Legend. That, uh, book is by Richard Matheson. Came out, I think, in the 80s. Um, it's a book that's actually been adapted, now see, now you say adapted. Yeah. Um, several times. Um, I think the first one, the first one, I can't remember what the first one was called, and I can't remember who the legendary actor was. It was a black and white movie. Jeez. And it ended with, apparently it's a legendary fr phrase, um, die you freaks, or something. Appar uh, it's, uh, that phrase is supposed to be just as popular as... The phrase, um, get your dirty stinking paws off me in the Planet of the Apes movies, apparently. Huh. I don't know. Um, okay. Another one was called, um, The Omega Man with Charlton Heston. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the most recent one, um, which we're gonna, which I'm gonna talk about, the most recent one was called I Am Legend. Came out in 2007, starring Will Smith. Um, that one is... One of the closest inspirations and bases from the, um, or, yeah, one of the closest taken from the book, from Matheson's book, I Am Legend, of the same name. Um, the book is about, just a quick refresher, is about um, some unspecified time, I think, um, a plague, or there was some outbreak, and um, the whole, all of San Francisco, um, of San Francisco, Los Angeles, or San Diego, one of those cities in California. Um, Robert Neville was a uh, fact, uh, he was a warehouse worker or something, um, and there was an outbreak like five years ago, and, every, and a whole bunch of people died, other pe and then other people were like mutated or something into, the, into what seemed to be vampires. And so the book um, is almo almost like a journal entry, um, but it's not told. It's told in third person, not first person, and it pretty much um, narrates Robert Neville's depression, his um, hope, his inspiration to try to go on after um, he loses all his friends, family. The book is told in flashbacks, and um, the book pretty much um, is really cool because it's sci-fi, and it offers some original, I guess, ideas and scientific ideas behind vampirism, um, behind thinking you're a vampire and being a vampire. It dismisses or offers explanations for the crosses, for garlic, for mirrors, and all that stuff. A lot of really neat psycho-analytical stuff in the book. Um, Will Smith's I Am Legend um, is set in um, the present, well, set in 2013? I think, actually. Okay. Um, in New York City. And um, this one is a virus, and it fo this one follows more of the trend of, like, um, zombies. And right. 28 Days Later, Resident mm -hmm. Evil, all that stuff. And um, pretty much um, Will Smith is Robert Neville, but he's um, a military scientist who was working... Um, they, they contracted or whatever with... Um, Alice Crippen, I think, a, a British doctor who discovered the cure for cancer. Um, the movie starts off like that. They, um, hey, maybe if we make it through 2012, we'll have a cure for cancer. Maybe so. Hey. Time will tell. Um, pretty much the cure crashes. Um, apparently it went airborne, something happened, and apparently everyone on the planet is supposed to have just been killed off. Um, immediately, Dang. or they were mutated, and then the mutants hunted and killed and fed on everybody else. Um, and this, in the movie, um, it's understood that the whole planet's been affected. In the book, we're not actually sure that the whole planet's been affected. We just know that a community has been affected, um, which is kind of neat because he's not getting news from anywhere else because, you know, 
communications have been down, but he still doesn't know if his area has been quarantined in the book or if the whole world has been affected. Movie whole world has been affected. Um, the movie is cool. Um, I felt this one I did feel like the spirit of the book was in the movie because they really got um, Robert Neville, Will Smith, played by Will Smith, they really got his isolation down, his depression down. He, um, they decide that he's got more of a connection to the virus or what, or whatever it is by trying to get him to feel responsible for the outbreak, losing his wife, losing his daughter. Um, in the book, it's just, you know, he lost them. You know, they were taken from him, whereas in the movie, uh, Will Smith's movie, he feels more responsible because he's, you know, contracted with the military and the uh, pharmaceuticals and everything. Um, it's a little, it's, you got some chills and thrills and things here, um, and, uh, pretty much, um, I thought it's a good movie, action-packed, and they really just got the, the whole spirit down right, I think of, um, him hunting down what's going on, um, with the mutants, um, but they're not vampires in this one, so I did miss out on seeing, um, on the silver screen, especially with the whole vampire high, seeing a bunch of vampire things dismissed or proven and a whole bunch of neat things done. So, um, I don't have a rating system for this either, but I think, um, I Am Legend with Will Smith was a good adaptation of the book. Um, could have been stronger. I think it should have gone ahead and done the vampire thing, but I think Hollywood wanted to leave that alone because of Twilight and all these other... Oversaturated over with satur vampires. Oversaturation. So, um, it's still a good... I think it's still a faithful uh, adaption, more or less, and just... Instead, just, um, takes more creative licenses that I think, um, service the movie better than some other adaptions. So, uh, this was I Am Legend, and, uh... Maybe we'll see you again for another book to movie adaptation. We'll see. Peace out.